Okay, so there's two parts to shooting a English longbow. Now, the one part is form. You know, your stance, your head, your grip, that kind of stuff. Anyhow, the other part is aiming. It's very rarely talked about, but I'm going to teach you about aiming. Now, this arrow is white. The reason I paint my arrows white is because it's just like an indicator. You can tell exactly where it is. Like if it was a gas gauge, you could tell how much gas you've got. Now, when you're aiming an arrow, usually people want to get it close to their eye. But I'll tell you, when you've got it up, close to your eye, it's just a little round circle. It is much easier to line up an arrow when it's on a slight angle. It's much longer looking. You can tell is it pointing that way or pointing that way. Whereas when it's just a little dot, it's harder to tell where it's pointing. So if you draw and you draw down a little bit and then bring your arrow up, you can see how much longer it looks and how much easier it is to line up. So that's one thing. The other thing is that the arrow must look vertical. It must look straight up and down. If it looks on the slightest bit of an angle, if my arrow is lined up but it's on the slightest angle like that and I put my eye on it, it looks straight. It's not straight. It's going to shoot that way. If my arrow is on the slightest bit of an angle this way and I put my arrow or my eye down that way, it looks straight. It's not straight. It's going to shoot that way. I call it the up from under look. It looks like it's starting underneath me and it goes up and then I can tell. Now it's not that much of an angle like that but that's the idea make your arrow look like it is vertical not doing these kinds of things that looks straight that looks straight it's not straight it has to be vertical come up from underneath and you can see when it's exactly lined up that's a big deal anyhow let's take a look at some of these targets Now, when you start not talking, like I do, and shooting, you can hit the target. And if you follow the principles I was telling you about, about keeping that arrow looking vertical, even though it's horizontal to the target, it should look vertical to you. Okay, well have fun shooting those English longbows, and take care.